look at some practical application of what we've been doing with our Tameshi Gideon, from our first EI Jutsu draw to the ability to rapidly transition between cuts, whether it's a, a, a cutting from the draw and then rapidly transition again, to be able to deal with more than one opponents because the reality in ancient Japan was that was a common thing, to have either multiples on one or multiples on multiples. Okay. No different modern combat, you don't always get to choose how many people are on each side and when they're going to attack and what's happening. Okay. So this kata, which is a little more freeform in a sense, two attackers, one guy who thinks he's the good guy in the process, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Okay. You can see why the ability to immediately apply force and apply it before the situation develops so far that you could also be cut in the process yourself becomes a critical factor. And when we talk about kicking in bouncing energy from cut to cut and also the displacement movement that took place with our footwork, that these things are critical. So when we're cutting, we have to think about that as well. Again, it's great to cut, make it look good in one sense for, for mats, but it's a whole different thing to be able to apply this. So breaking this down just a little bit, okay? What's happening here, as is he moves, I'm already on it, okay? He can't actually make the cut even if he's partway through it because of the motion. Not because I'm knocking his blade away, I'm literally catching the blade as it comes down, camming it off as I, as I hit him. Now, he's cutting here. So if he reaches right now with his sword and could hit me in the chest, that's gonna split my chest open and my heart. But as I turn from this, which we learned from our Rokudan Gidi, and I displace here, he's actually going to miss anyway. Now, he can't see that in the moment because I'm not shifting weight in the normal sense of the term. Okay? I'm not shifting weight like that. As I come step here to here, I'm displacing by pivoting on the ball of my foot, and I'm not actually where I was. So a cut that would have been good for him, the point, by the way, we tested before on things tougher than people, okay? That point would just pop right through here, pop right through, heart lungs right there. So if he would have made that cut, I'd be dead. But because of the movement that we practice, that's not the case. Right? So this is what we're practicing, and this is why.